that there was kidnapped on 3rd of August 2014 and she was two months pregnant. The child is here. He is now 10 months old and there was five months in the hand of the ISIS. If it's not too terrible for them to describe, can they tell me and our viewers what happened on that day when they were kidnapped? We was in Khanasur near Shingal city. Uh, they took us. Were, were the families separated, men and women? They separate. The, depend of the age. The gents completely they separate from us. I don't want to ask uncomfortable questions, mm. but if the, uh, the family would tell us what happened to the women who were separated from the families. Our girls, um, they separate from us, six upwards, if they're a little bit looking big, then they belong to the sex love uh, market, they sell them. In front of our eyes, they sell our sisters, our daughters, we could not do nothing. Some of the girls, because there was a lot in that time, they sell them just for 10 euro. The age of six, yeah. is that because that was the age of Aisha? Yes, correct, 100%. That's Mohammed's wife yes. at six years old. Were children that young raped? Guarantee. Guarantee. They, have, uh, they, has no, they take them for that case. That's the reason you yes, think? Yes, that's it. Did any people try to fight back? They come back to this house and they will be kill all of them, but this call come. We went, there was thro third floor, we went upstairs. They has even their machine to cut the woodens. They has the, 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 the swords, they had different guns, how they cut the, the bodies. Let me understand what you said. Did yeah. you say that there were saws? Industrial saws to kill to cut people up. Did you? Yes. Is that what you said? The saw is on ice. Yes. Can you please describe? And I know it's terrible, but I, I think the world needs to know. Can you describe that room, and what you saw in that room? He says in that room they are like like lines instruments. One he will cut their head. One he cut the hands and the leg. And there was on the line big knives, swords, knives, and khanjar. Um, says this uh, Arab fighting. This is uh, like a bow. This is also kind of sword. And the last one was the machine to cut the wooden, that to cut the people in the half through the wooden machine. And uh, they told them nobody till now was survived from this house. They will be cut in pieces, and they separate them already. They bind the eyes normally, but. They got called, they was lucky. And they told, after you release from here, nobody will touch you more. How did this end? How did you get out of there and come to Germany? It was continue how they separate us. They like to rape her, to take her. Then they brought her to Lehfer. That is the village, uh, uh, station where they bring the girls. So we was known they will separate us. I mean, they will take her. She says, we try, we both, not to be separate because they are fresh married and then she's pregnant. There was a step and there was a, a sack full of uh, wheat powder. And she says, we, we went under these steps and we put these big sacks in front of us that nobody can see us. She said, three times they searched the house, but they didn't find us. In the night, we try, we, we ran away then. So we st start in the night first to run away from there, and it was rainy time. Sometimes the water was coming up here, heavy rain, and she was pregnant, of course, with a child, of course, it's cold. And the night, four days, four nights, they was on the way. In the day, they hide them some area, and in the night, they're walking. She says, we came again to one area, normally that was their, their point, where the, uh, the the leadership, they were staying there, and they came in the night, they knock on the door. They was not known who is there, of course. They knock on the door, but nobody, later they come to know, there was ice, they didn't open them the door. They like to ask how we can go to Sherfadin, but nobody opened the door. If they open, they will kill them, of course.
Then uh, I knock on another door and they explain that she's pregnant and they are running away, they are UCD and they have uh, this kind of problem. That lady, she was good with them. Even she was, she belonged to the Sunnah, but she was okay. She told, come, I will show you the way. That lady, she showed her the way to come to the UCD area. After this, uh, there are a program from Stuttgart, from Germany, that they take the ladies, which one they was in hand of the ISIS. And she come about official way, but the program of Stuttgart, they take only ladies, not gents. And he come about illegal way, but she says they brought us to their home, to the, uh, to the camps here. Uh, no, they don't care for us, she says now. What do you mean by they don't care for you at the camp? Uh, I am afraid to go sleep till three o'clock. I stay by the security man because I'm afraid to go to my room. Uh, I am alone and they force me. You have to be Muslim. You have to pray the Islam prayer. You have to convert to be convert to Islam. And that's why I just, this persecution here is more stronger than there. Are any of them supporters of ISIS? He believed that they're all ISIS, according to their behavior, what they behave as there, the, the same rules, the same persecution. She says like this child, if she's crying, if she's crying, they will take her from, the mother cannot stop her because she's hungry or something like this. She saw one child, one year old, that they took from hand of her mother, and they took the eyes of the child out and they put in the mouth, they eat the eyes of the child. I, I am the, shocked now. The ISIS terrorists did that? They are under drugs, the people, by self. That's why they can't do that. They took the eyes of the child and they put it in their own mouth. This is unbelievable. But she saw his own eyes. Do you want Menard to grow up in Germany? Or do you want one day to go back to Yazidi places, maybe in the Kurdistan or something. Mm -hmm. We come to save this small girl. And if she is growing after four or five years uh, later, will come again genocide about us. They will rape her also. That's why we come here to save her life for her. And we don't believe that we have a future there. We told we will go to Iraq because here we are also persecuted. That's why we are confused. But for her, maybe here we have chance not to be raped. Well, thank you very much for speaking from your heart.